Hi guys, this is a Simon Expert and in this example we have a box of sand which is initially stationary and then we move it across the floor by means of a cable which has a tension 1100 newtons. The coefficient of static friction between the box and the floor is 0 0.35. Let us find the angle theta between the cable and the horizontal uh, at which we can pull the highest amount of sand inside the box and also the weight of the box and the sand at this angle. So, first of all we need to consider all the forces acting on the box in the vertical plane. So we have N minus mg plus t times sine theta equals zero. Now from this equation we can get the force of friction. F equals nu times mg minus t times sine theta. Okay, now let's consider the forces acting in the horizontal plane. We have T times cosine of theta minus force of friction. So now we move the force of friction to the other side and take this expression and we get T times cosine of theta equals mu times mg minus t times sine of theta. Now from this expression let us derive m. m equals t divided by mu times g times cosine of theta plus mu times sine of theta. All right, guys, so here we found the expression for the mass of a box with the sand. Now to find the angle at which we can pull the highest amount of mass, we need to take derivative of mass with respect to angle theta. So derivative of m with respect to theta gives us the following. First, we have this term without changes, t over mu times g. Then in braces, we have negative sine of theta plus mu times cosine of theta. And now this expression should be equal to zero. Obviously, if we take this part and move it to the, le to the right side, we will get zero. So we're left with negative sine of theta plus mu times cosine of theta equals zero. This gives us tangent of theta equals mu and equals 0 0.35. Therefore, theta equals 19.3 degrees. Okay, so here we found the angle at which we can pull the highest amount of mass of box and the sand. Now, to find the weight of the box and the sand at this angle, we need to return to formula over here. The weight is actually the product of mass and the free fall acceleration. So we will take g and move it to the left side, mg. This is obviously the weight. And it is equal to t over mu times cosine of theta plus mu times sine of theta. Now let us take our values. T is 1100. We divide it by 0 0.35. And then in braces we have cosine of 19.3 degrees plus 0 0.35 times sine of 19.3 degrees. And the result of this is 3,330 newtons. So this is the weight 
uh, when we're pulling at the angle 19.3 degrees and this angle is corresponds to the angle at which we can pull the highest mass of sand inside of this box. Thanks for watching us. See you next time. Goodbye.